Jonathan, you are working with Microsoft at the TypeScript team, uh, but you're doing a lot of partnership work with Google. What, what exactly are you doing with Google? Sure, so one of the things, of course, we're working on is this partnership, working on uh, tooling for Angular 2 and, and features in TypeScript so that uh, you have a much better experience with rich libraries like Angular 2. Uh, one of the features that we're working on in collaboration with the Angular team is the decorators feature for ES7. Uh, so I've been going to the TC39, which is the JavaScript committee, and presenting on kind of the work that we're doing for decorators. And this is a collaboration that's not just uh, my team at Microsoft and the Angular team at Google, but also the Ember team, uh, Yehuda Katz is working on that, and Rob Eisenberg uh, from the Aurelia project and Durandal. So the four of us, or the four groups, have been working together on this. So it's, it's, it's kind of nice to see this collaboration across libraries, across you know, different companies, uh, to put together features that work really well with uh, kind of future versions of JavaScript. All right. That's a lot of talent and a lot of minds from a lot of groups come together. So let's start with this. What's been the most unexpected challenge you've had to deal with in this collaboration? You know, actually, though, I, one of the things I thought was going to be a challenge is just the fact that we're these different companies coming together. But that actually, that it would be very ego driven. I thought it would be maybe ego driven. I thought it'd be you know our set of goals are more important than your set of goals. Um, but I think when people actually get in the same room together and you go to the whiteboard and you start writing out what the challenges are, then we all kind of take that hat off from our companies and then put on the engineer hat and we really start banging away at these problems as engineers rather than as company guys. Well, you don't have any marketing people in the room, right? <laughs> that, does, that does probably make a difference. Uh, once an engineer sees a problem, then he kind of jumps on it and the ego kind of falls away a bit. All right, so it's definitely the, the physical being in the same room. I mean, you can't just do this all via emails and, and message boards. I mean, you can once you kind of establish that. Uh, but I think one of the things we're learning is it's better to kind of put people in the same room. Um, teleconference kind of works, but when you're in the same room at the same board talking on the same problems. So how, how often are you guys getting together? Uh, so we just met up in Portland a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know how, how often that's going to be uh, at this point. Uh, but I think we're, we're kind of going from there. All right, now, that's the unexpected challenge. Now I want to know what's been the unexpected benefit, what you didn't expect that was going to come out of this. And it could have nothing to do with the goal, the intended goal. Sure, so for me personally, um, my background is programming languages, compilers, uh, creating those kinds of tools. Um, I don't have a strong background in the kinds of crazy applications that these guys are used to building, uh, the Angular team and Ember and, and Yehuda. So actually being in the same room and listening to the problems that they hear, uh, that they work with, uh, has really been educational for me. So I'm starting to see the world through uh, kind of a different set of lenses. You didn't, you didn't have that sort of macro view of uh, app development that they do? I didn't because I mostly just solved the problems as a compiler, as a language designer without kind of putting myself in the position of someone that's doing these, these larger libraries or these larger applications. And I think they've helped bridge that for me. So with all you guys in a room working on this, what do you think is the biggest challenge you're facing right now? I think the biggest challenge right now is that the, the problems that we're working on, decorators is one that I care a lot about, um, itself has a lot of layers to it for it to work, like being able to decorate not just classes, but functions and, and anything that you might want to decorate in your file. Each one has its own set of challenges. So we have the set of challenges that are the technical, and we also have kind of the, the social or the, the standardization challenges. So actually, not just solving the problem, but solving it in such a way that you're showing that this is the best solution to this problem. So when you go to the standards committee, you can kind of show that. Would you have to get marketing involved at that point? <laughs> I hope not. I hope we can just sit down as engineers at the table and solve it again.